The Director General, National Council for Arts and Culture, Utumbao Lushagumu Shewe, has expressed concern over preference for foreign languages over Nigerian languages. The NCAC boss told the news agency of Nigeria in an interview in Abuja that the growing trend was disturbing. He said the problem was more pronounced with the use of English language as the country's official language. Rochewa said the crave for foreign culture generally had contributed greatly to the level of moral decadence in the country. If you go for an occasion and you speak English and you use past tense for present tense, everybody will laugh at you. But do you know if you make that mistake in Igbo, Yoruba, Alsa, nobody even knows you have done anything because it flows, it's natural. But we are always struggling to speak Queen English. Now, the common thing on that is because every parent wants their children to speak phonetics in phone, in all those hype up and everything. And if your child speaks well like that, in fact, let me open up to you today. When some parents even have their children who can speak good English, if you visit their house, they will make sure that child comes to communicate, interact with you, for you to know that they have where they have spent their money. It's unfortunate, but that's where we found ourselves. When you go to school, you say a child made credit in English. Oh, God, that child will be celebrated. Or you say a child made credit in Igbo or Yoruba and Alza. I can tell you today, apart from some media houses, that child cannot make any big stuff. But I do hope in no long distance we need to resolve and come up with a better um, language strategy of reaching out more to our people. Because if you go to China, Dubai, all those places now, English is not their national language. But in Europe, it is. But look at how interesting it is. Once you leave London, you go to the island. They don't speak in, they don't agree with English. They have their own language. It's killing our cultural values. To the extent that today, most of our youth are really in depth into immorality, which is where we find ourselves. You can see men, men sometimes plait their ears bigger and wider than that of women. They put on earrings. In fact, I've seen one just three weeks ago. Men have started putting on lipstick. Because of the vacuum for a long time, our youth are now imbibing other people's culture, which is backfiring on our presence.